Buenos días. <laughs> It's supposed to go the other way. Never fear, Padre Gringo is here. <laughs> I'm happy to see all of you here bright and early. But we still haven't filled the church. You know, I told you, Timio, when the church opens up, it better be full or I'm going to pour a bucket of cold water on his head. <laughs> Now that was 10 years ago. I've been giving him plenty of time to get it done, but it's getting down to the wire here. So today we're here to celebrate the Feast of Our Lady Guadalupe. So I want to start out by talking about the mission and the message. So what was the mission? The mission was to convert the Aztec and Mexican people to Catholicism. Now I say that for a reason. Mary sent Juan Diego to a Catholic bishop. And the miraculous image of Our Lady of Guadalupe resulted in the baptism of millions of people. And I think it's very interesting to note that at the same time Mary appeared and converted millions to Catholicism Protestantism was beginning in Europe. And that word means to protest. So a Catholic priest in Germany named Father Martin Luther protested the church's teaching. Which resulted in millions leaving the Catholic Church in Europe. So I think it's more than a coincidence that at the same time millions were leaving in Europe, the Blessed Mother came and brought millions into the Church. Another part of the mission of Our Lady of Guadalupe was to put an end to the bloody human sacrifices. And recently we had another miracle At the same time, the Mexican government was voting to legalize abortion in Mexico. The 
place where the baby Jesus would be in the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Began to glow. And you could see the image of the baby Jesus um, in her womb, glowing. So this was a sign from God that the, that the government was going against the mission of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And the good that she had brought to the people 500 years ago. So, when we look at the message, we see Our Lady sent Saint Juan Diego to the bishop with the request to build a Catholic church in her honor on top of the mountain. So it was in the winter time as it is now. And the flowers were blooming there on the hill. Well, not only was it unusual for flowers to bloom in December, but it was a species of flower that was not in Mexico, but from Spain. It was Castilian roses which the bishop recognized as being from his hometown. And that they did not grow in Mexico. So when uh, Juan went to the bishop, he opened up his uh, clothing and some of the roses dissolved into the cloth to form the image of Our Lady. And some fell on the floor and he recognized them as flowers from home. So all the people there dropped to their knees. And believed the message of Saint Juan Diego. That Mary had appeared and it was God's will for them to build a Catholic church there. Now the missionaries were there trying to bring the, the gospel to the people. But they weren't doing such a good job. People didn't believe them. So this miraculous image of Mary brought 
brought the conversion of millions. Brought an end to the bloody human sacrifices. And filled the new church of Our Lady of Guadalupe. So we need to remember the church is the house of God. What makes it the house of God? Because God is here in the Eucharist. The living bread come down from heaven. We celebrate Christmas, right? We sing songs about Bethlehem. Well, the word Bethlehem means house of bread. And Jesus, who is called the Lamb of God, was put in a feed box in the manger. Put in a feed box in the manger. Huh? Oh, um, uh, a bowl, uh, a place to eat from. Le pusieron una caja de comida. Which points to Jesus giving himself to us as spiritual food. Lo que significa que Jesús se dio a sí mismo como una comida espiritual. So if we're going to truly honor Our Lady of Guadalupe, si de verdad vamos a honorar a Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe, then we need to live out her message. Tenemos que vivir su mensaje. First, to believe in Jesus. Primero, creer en Jesús. Second, to be baptized and to have our children baptized. Segundo, ser bautizado y que nuestros hijos sean bautizados. And third, to go to the church that she had built. Y tercero, ir a la iglesia la que ella ha construido. To receive her son Jesus in the Eucharist. Para recibir a su hijo en la Eucaristía. Because God didn't want them to build an empty church that no one would be inside of. Porque Dios no quiso que construyera una iglesia vacía que nadie estuviera dentro. So the church there in Mexico and the church here is meant to be filled with people who love Jesus. Entonces la iglesia en México, la iglesia aquí está hecha para llenarla de gente. So it's an encouragement from heaven for us to recognize es una motivación desde el cielo para nosotros que reconozcamos the churches are built for us. Because we are the family of God. Porque nosotros somos la familia de Dios. This is the house of the family of God. Esta es la casa de la familia de Dios. So the family comes together to pray on Sunday. Entonces la familia viene juntos a orar los domingos. And families eat together, right? Y la familia come junto, ¿verdad? So we come here to share in the sacred meal of the Eucharist at the Mass. Entonces venimos aquí para compartir la comida sagrada de la Eucaristía en la Misa. So we have to remember Tenemos que recordar the forces of evil are at work to attack our faith. La fuerza del demonio están ahí para atacar nuestra fe. There are people, places, things, and ideas. Son gentes, cosas, lugares, ideas. That the forces of evil put in our path. Que la fuerza del demonio la ponen en el camino. To pull us away from God and away from heaven. Para sacarnos del camino de Dios 
y el camino al cielo. But the good news Pero la noticia buena is that God and our guardian angel es que Dios y nuestro ángel guardián works to put people, places, things, and ideas trabaja para poner a la gente, lugares, y ideas to strengthen our faith para que nos ayude a dar fuerza en nuestra fe and to keep us on the path to heaven. Y para mantenernos en el camino al cielo. So, what was the miracle of the image? Entonces, ¿cuál fue el milagro de la imagen? Some of the same scientists Algunos de los científicos that looked at the Shroud of Turin que, que vieron a la imagen de Turin which has miraculously burned into it the image of Christ being raised from the dead. Que tiene la imagen milagrosa de la imagen de Jesús resucitado. They could not find any paintbrush strokes in the image of Our Lady Guadalupe. Esos científicos no pudieron encontrar nada de que, de que fuera pintado en la imagen de, de Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe. So you have top scientists from NASA. Tiene científicos de alto nivel de la NASA. Saying, we don't know how this image was formed. Dicen, no sabemos cómo esta imagen fue formada. Our best technology cannot reproduce an image like this. Nuestra mejor tecnología del mundo no puede reproducir una imagen así. And remember, it was made out of Juan's cactus garment. Y recuerden que fue, fue esa de... De lo, del manto de San Juan Diego. So it should have fallen apart. Entonces no podía caerse. But it's still there 500 years later. Pero todavía está ahí. Hace 500 años que pasó. The communists tried to blow it up, but it was miraculously preserved. Los comunistas trataron de, de explotarla, pero milagrosamente fue preservada. The image maintains the same temperature as a living human being. La imagen mantiene la misma temperatura que la temperatura del cuerpo de un ser humano. And if you were to look at my eye right now, you would see a reflection of all of you in my eye. Si ustedes me ven a mis ojos ahora mismo, podrían ver la reflexión de todos ustedes en mis ojos. When they look closely at the image of Mary's eye, they could see the bishop. Cuando se ven, se ven los ojos de la imagen de Nuestra Señora Guadalupe, de cerca, ven la imagen del obispo. And the other people there in the room. Y la demás gente ahí en el cuarto. The stars in Mary's garment. Las estrellas en el cielo de María match exactly the stars that would have been in the sky at that date. Son las mismas, parecen ser las mismas que aparecieron en el cielo ese día. And the place that Mary appeared is exactly in the center of the world. Y el lugar donde María apareció es exactamente en el centro del mundo. Dead center between the north and the south latitudes. En ese centro entre el norte y el sur, la latitud del sur. Now, Mary appeared on the feast of the Immaculate Conception. Ahora María apareció en la fiesta de la Inmaculada Concepción. Since then, the church has um, separated the two dates to give each one its own proper emphasis. Desde entonces la iglesia ha separado los dos días para darle a cada una su propio reconocimiento. So there are two big reasons for the Immaculate Conception. Hay dos razones grandes por la Inmaculada Concepción. So scripture calls Christ the new Adam. La Escritura llama a Jesús el nuevo Adán. 
Because the old Adam sinned and we lost paradise. Porque el Adam viejo pecó y perdimos el paraíso. But Christ never sins. Pero Jesús nunca pecó. And his death on the cross restores us to paradise. Y su muerte en la cruz nos, nos lleva a nosotros de nuevo al paraíso. Because it makes atonement for our sins. Porque eso es lo, lo que nos libera de nuestro pecado. So the church fathers call Mary the new Eve. La, la iglesia llama a María la nueva Eva. Because with God cannot be defeated by the devil. So in the end, God has one man and one woman who never sinned. So Mary was created without sin at the moment of her conception. María fue creada sin pecado en el momento de concepción. To prepare her to be the mother of Jesus, the son of God. Para prepararse para ser la madre de Jesús, el hijo de Dios. Now, another apparition happened in France. Ahora, a otra, otra aparición pasó en Francia. In 1830. En 1830. Mary appeared to St. Catherine, Maria le a Santa Catarina, who was a contemplative nun. Que era una monja contemplativa. And she appeared to her uh, in the church in the image of the miraculous medal. Y le apareció a ella en, la, en el templo de la iglesia en la imagen de la medalla milagrosa. And the prayer on the medal comes from heaven. Y la oración en la medalla viene del cielo. And the prayer says, O Mary, conceived without sin. Y en la oración dice, María, sin man, concebida sin mancha. Which is the definition of the Immaculate Conception. Que es la definición de la Immaculate Concepción. The second part shows us the importance la segunda parte nos enseña la importancia. It goes on to say, pray for us who turn to you for help. De decir, ora por nosotros que ella se convierte en nosotros como ayuda. So I have uh, these medals for free for you as a gift outside my office door on the table. Yo tengo estas medallas como un regalo para ustedes afuera de mi oficina. So many of you probably already have the medal. Muchos de ustedes probablemente ya tienen la medalla. So I ask that you don't take them so that the people that haven't gotten one yet can get one. Les pido que ya no tomen otra. Dejen a la gente que no ha recibido una que reciba una. And you say, Father, where's your medal? Ustedes pueden decir, Padre, ¿dónde está tu medalla? <laughs> Father's asleep. <laughs> Father está dormido. <laughs> I'm not normally up this early preaching. Normalmente no estoy aquí tan de mañana así predicando. So I rushed out the door to get here. Entonces salí pantado de, de la cama para llegar aquí. But Mary promises great graces to those who wear the medal. Pero María le promete muchas gracias a esos que andan la medalla milagrosa. And I wear my medal almost every day and most of the day. Y yo uso mi medalla casi todos los días y todo el día. Now all the medals have been blessed. Todas las medallas han sido bendecidas. And you need to see a parallel with Our Lady Guadalupe. Y tienes que ver un paralelo con Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe. Because the image of Guadalupe, porque la imagen de Guadalupe, is actually part of the garment that he wore. Es actualmente es una parte del vestuario que él usó. So he had the image of Mary over his heart. Tiene la imagen de María encima del corazón. 
It's only later on they folded it up and turned it into a picture and a frame. Y después lo, lo convierte en una foto, en un cuadro. So if you wear the miraculous smell, you will have the image of Mary over your heart. Si usas la medalla milagrosa, tiene la imagen de María encima de tu corazón. And on the back of the medal is a cross and the hearts of Jesus and Mary. Y detrás de la medalla está una cruz y el corazón de Jesús y María. So Mary is your spiritual mother. Entonces María es tu madre espiritual. Gospel of John chapter 19. El Evangelio de Juan capítulo 19. As Jesus is dying. Mientras Jesús está muriendo. He says to Saint John. Le dice a San Juan. Behold your mother. Ahí está tu madre. And to Mary, woman, behold your son. Y a María, mujer, ahí está tu hijo. So what are the first words of Our Lady of Guadalupe to Saint John? Una de las primeras palabras de Nuestra Señora Guadalupe she says, to, Juan, she says to him, John, I am your mother. Le dice a San Juan Diego, Juan, yo soy tu madre. Is there anything you need? Algo que necesites. Because our mother in heaven is anxious for us to ask for things from her. Porque nuestra madre en el cielo está ansiosa de que nosotros le pidamos cosas desde la tierra. So the miraculous medal is a spiritual shield. La medalla milagrosa es un escudo espiritual. And the rosary is a spiritual sword. Y el rosario es una espada espiritual. When Mary appeared in, in Lourdes and Fatima, Cuando María apareció en Lourdes y Fátima, the message was pray the rosary every day. El mensaje fue, hagan el rosario todos los días. So, our Lady's message is to come to Jesus. Nuestro mensaje de Nuestra Señora es que vengamos a Jesús. In faith and baptism and in the Eucharist. En la fe, en el bautismo y en la Eucaristía. And to turn to her in prayer. Y que nos volvamos con ella en oración. So that she can pray for us and with us. Para que ella pueda orar por nosotros y con nosotros. That's why when you look at the image of Guadalupe, her hands are folded in prayer. Por eso cuando ve la imagen de Nuestra Señora Guadalupe, sus manos están en forma de oración. And her head is bowed. Y su, su cabeza está inclinada. So recognize Mary as your mother. Reconozca, reconozca a María como su madre. When Jesus dwells within you, you have the same father and mother that he does. Cuando Jesús está con ustedes, tienen la misma madre que él tiene. Ask her for something you need. Pídele algo que necesites. She's anxious to help you. Ella está muy ansiosa de ayudarte. To strengthen you and console you in life. Para darte fuerza, para consolarte en la vida. So let's remember to honor Our Lady of Guadalupe. Recordemos de honorar a Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe. With the Hail Mary prayer and the rosary. Con la salve, Dios te salve y el rosario. And don't forget to take one of the medals for yourself on, on uh, when the services conclude a little later. Y no te olvides de agarrar una medallita para que la andes cuando el servicio ya haya terminado. If we run out of medals that have the chain around them, I have some more in my office. Si ya no hay medallas que tienen la cadena, uh, tengo más en la oficina. I'm going to conclude by giving you a blessing, and then I guess we're going to continue with some singing and things, right? Okay. Uh, vamos a, voy a concluir dándole la bendición y vamos a continuar cantando. May your names be written in the sacred heart of Jesus. Puede tu nombre ser estar en el sagrado corazón de Jesús. And may the Immaculate Heart of Mary pray for you and protect you always. 
y el Inmaculado Corazón de María que te proteja siempre. And may you be blessed by the Holy Trinity. Y sea bendecido por la Santísima Trinidad. La bendición en el nombre del Padre y del Espíritu Santo. Amén.